beauties welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel life as danny i'm super excited to have you here today hopefully you decide to stick around and subscribe i am dedicating today's video to the new hourglass face palette i'm going to be diving a little bit into the palette because i did customize it now i think they came out with three or four I forget i'm gonna share it with you guys all the other palettes and why i kind of just stuck with one and yeah also going to be putting it on my face for a little review and first impressions and i'm also going to be sharing with you guys the other face palettes in my collection so if that's something that you're interested in seeing then go ahead and keep on watching and by the way on my eyes i just wanted to share with you what palette i used for today's look and it's the new natasha denona i need a nude palette i have a full video filmed on one eye look and then i just filmed a shorts on the second eye look so just wanted to share so they did come out with four it's the jellyfish the cheetah the snake and the owl palette and they all retail for 90 dollars i really like the fact that hourglass allows you to customize your palette in the sense that whatever's inside one palette you can put it in a different one when i saw these palettes i actually did not see the owl palette at all they just showcased three i don't know why but i had my eye set on the cheetah palette regardless if i was going to get the the whole palette or if i was going to customize it um yeah i just saw the cheetah palette and i was like i want that one so i customize it by getting the cheetah palette and putting what was in the owl palette into the cheetah palette if that makes sense that's how i customized it so yeah i really just loved the black and i loved the leopards did i say did i say cheetah i I don't know if I said cheetah, but it's leopard. I just love the black packaging, and this is my favorite print. I, I just love the leopard print. So, yes, this is the one that I got. Let me go ahead and open it, and it's also gold inside. It's so beautiful, the black and gold. And there are so many new shades that I get to play with, so that is super exciting all right so let's get into the palette and the shade names and i'm also going to let you guys know what's new in this palette starting right over here we have radiant light and it's a finishing powder this is not new with hourglass we've seen this before in other face palettes right here in the middle we have a new blush and it's called coral haze so so gorgeous and then right next to it, this is a strobe powder, which is essentially just a highlighter. This is also new, and it's called Infinite Strobe Light. Then right over here, this is a blush, and it is also new. It's so, so beautiful. It is called Sunbeam. And then we have another new blush, and it's called Mystic Flush then over here this is a bronzer this is also new um this is kind of what caught my eye online i want to say it is so gorgeous in person as well um yeah this is a bronzer and it's called solar bronze so there you go that is all the new shades and their names I wanted to share some of the face palettes that I already have and then I also just have like a highlighter from Hourglass. These palettes dropped last year, I want to say for the holiday, um, possibly around the same time or maybe a little bit later in the year. But regardless, when I saw the tease of these, I'm like, I am getting all three. They're all so, so beautiful in their own ways. This is the Butterfly Palette. It's the Ambient Lighting Edit and Locked um, Butterfly Palette. And here is what this one looks like. My favorite artwork of last year is the Elephant Palette. I love elephants. They are my spirit animal. And also, it's pink. Um yeah gorgeous gorgeous palette as well last but not least we have the tiger palette i didn't open it and the last one that i have to share um is the ambient lighting edit universe palette 
And this one is also so beautiful. Like, look at that blush shade. Uh, it's just so gorgeous. And then before we get into it, I wanted to mention I am wearing the Hourglass. It's the Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. So that's what I have on my skin. We're just, we're just staying on the train of Hourglass. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and use this little baby. Going straight into that bronzer, Solar Bronze. Again, it's one of their new shades. I'm just going to put that on my jawline, on my cheekbones, and my forehead. So far, right off the bat, this is a very pigmented um, bronzer, and it's a very nice, like, deep undertone. I love the undertone of this. All right. This blush, Sunbeam, is really just calling my name, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. I'm going to be taking my BK Beauty 112 brush to apply that blush. Okay, really, really pigmented, and it has this beautiful, like, sheen to it. You do not need a lot of that blush. I'm actually going to tap off the excess. Such a gorgeous shade. It is leaning on the terracotta side. Which is great, because um, I don't have a lot of blushes like this. It's cute! Okay, and then with my highlighting brush, I'm going to be taking the Infinite Strobe Light Highlighter. Wow. This highlighter is on the gold side, which I love because it complements my skin so well so pretty i'm gonna add it to my cupid's bow a little bit on my chin and my nose And there you have it. I used three of the newest shades in the palette. I'm also going to be using the finishing powder. It's not new by any means, but we're going to go ahead and use her. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just take that powder and set my face. And then I'm going to add a little bit more highlight. I don't need more highlight, but I just want to add more. Okay. Oh, this is the snake palette. So if you like the artwork and the shades, then you would just go ahead and purchase this. Let's move on to the Leopard palette. So this is the original Leopard palette. It's still very pretty, but I just liked the contents of the Snake palette. So again, if you like the packaging and all the shades, then you would just go ahead and purchase this. No need to customize it. And then the Jellyfish palette, which beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, I just don't really care for the shades, but if you do, then you would go ahead and just purchase it. So yeah, go Hourglass for allowing their customers to customize their palettes. I think that's 
an amazing option and I think it turned out really pretty I think that blush is stunning and so is the new highlight I mean you can see it for yourself I am literally glowing and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed i would love for you to stick around and subscribe and join the fam i will see you beauties in my next video bye